Hey YouTube, what is up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to put Cody over top of Raspbian. Now I'm using a Raspberry Pi 2 with a wireless Edimax dongle. And the current version of, of Raspbian is Jesse. So the first thing you're going to want to do to put Cody on this is you're going to want to expand your file system. Now that is super easy to do. You go into preferences. You go to Raspberry Pi configuration. And you go expand file system. Now it'll say it's been expanded. It doesn't take very long at all. Now it's going to want you to reboot. So yes, reboot. Close that out yes reboot now and that should take a minute and this is a very easy install there's like two lines of code you need to put in there we go okay so let's check to make sure the file system expanded go into file manager up at the top and notice now I'm at 23 gigabytes. Uh, I have a 32 gigabyte SD card and the rest of the space is being taken up by uh, the operating system. Now, down to the good stuff. How to install Kobe. Well, first open up your uh, command terminal and type in the following. sudo space apt apt dash get update and press enter uh, this can take this can this can vary in times but just let it do its thing and it will be good. Uh, I will come back to you once it's done. Okay, so that took about five minutes. Well, to be exact, five minutes and nine seconds. So you can see it, it will take some time. Next, you're gonna want to install Kodi. Now, type in sudo space apt or apt dash get space install space Cody and press enter and when it asks do you want to continue type Y and then enter and let it go. This can take some time as well. Uh, for me it's probably going to take about two minutes. So, just let it do its thing. And I will be back when it completes. Okay, just a little update here. This can take some time. Uh, probably going to be about 20 minutes for me uh, but I didn't see the estimated time up there taking as long as like 60 minutes so an hour so be patient go grab a cup of coffee or something and uh, wait for it to complete uh, don't type anything or touch anything okay well that probably took a good 40 minutes uh, normally doesn't take that long but their servers must be busy today um, now, this is optional if you want to do this or not, but you probably don't want Raspbian to go into a screensaver mode. So, you're going to want to type in a command to install something called X screensaver. The command for this is sudo space apt-get 
space install x screen saver and press enter now this shouldn't take long and yes you want to continue so type y and then enter Okay, so you installed X screen saver. Now let's go and configure everything. Now, let's make sure that if you've done everything correctly, you should have an option called sound and video. And over there is Cody. So we'll click on that in a minute. But now, let's go down and adjust your screen saver. Now you don't have to do this, but it's personal preference if you don't like the screen to black out because you're probably not going to be using your keyboard and mouse when you're in Cody and I will show you how uh, I will tell you about a great app that lets you take away your keyboard and mouse and control it from your tablet so but in the meantime let's adjust screen saver and launch it it's okay now you're going to want to disable screensaver. And there you go, screensaver disabled. Now, exit. And let's go down and see how Cody's doing. And there you have it. You got Cody up and running. Um, you can adjust, you can do everything in this. It's Personally, in my preference, it's better than the other images you'd get, like in OSMC or XPN or OpenELEC, because this is just plain Cody. There's nothing underneath it. Uh, it's much faster, I think, in my opinion. Um, you can add your files, you can add your sources, and later today, I'm probably going to upload a video about how to install the Beast, a custom build for Cody. Um, if you've noticed, or if you've ever tried installing uh, a build on Raspberry Pi 2, it seems that all of the wizards error out and you can never install a build. Well, I got a way that you can now. So, we'll be sure to try that out. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. Um, if you didn't, I guess hit the dislike button. Uh, thank you again for watching. And uh, stay tuned for my next video.